Hello, 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 and happy Friday to all of my lions. Hello, sunshines. Yes, Leos, I call you all sunshines because you all are ruled by the sun. Let's get into it, Leos. I am talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, south node, ICMC, wherever Leo is in your chart, I am talking to you. So please only take what resonates with you, Leos. Let's go. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description bar. Yes, let's go. We are one day away from the solar eclipse and the new moon in Taurus. So prosperity lies ahead. Are you ready? All right. Now, you know, before we get right to the next phase, there's always a test. There's always a test. But you will be passing that test, Leo. I promise you, you will be passing the test. All right, let's go. Let's see what these cards have to say. I want you all to remember something. If you don't remember anything else, Leo, what your purpose is, your life purpose is to develop your creative brilliance and take center stage or lead the pack, right? You attract allegiance in return for your inspiration, support, and strength. So you're not supposed to be behind the scenes. You're supposed to be out front shining, okay? Now, this is not for somebody's ego to get out of control, but I'm just telling you, this is what the sun is going to shine regardless, okay? You have the backing of the sun, so it's time to shine, right? Somebody is still distracted. Here we have the five of pentacles. Somebody's still emotionally wounded when it comes to their money. So check everything around you leos and i mean everything is there anything that's standing in the way from you opening up this vault including pride right yeah or self-centeredness right because you can turn those things around to develop faith in your creative power right so get creative right that's how you're going to open up that vault right so here we have the seven of swords as well we also have the four of wands. I see somebody celebrating in front of a house, whether they sold it, purchased it, refinanced or something. But I see you celebrating inside of it, in, in front of a structure. It can even be a courthouse that you're celebrating in front of. Here we have the page of cups. Mm -hmm. We also have the ace of pentacles and we have the four of pentacles, right? So I do see you opening up this vault, Leo. So stay focused now. Stay focused. Stay focused. Yes. So we have this. As of today, today ends the last quarter moon in Aquarius, right? So you want to get real um, focused about your circle, um, who you want in your circle. This is where you're going to really, really finish strong. I mean, like really finish strong. And so Taurus is really, really all about, Taurus's ruling planet is Venus, right? About love, about money, about what's pleasing to you. So you have been giving, giving, giving. Now it's time for you to receive. Are you ready to receive all the money that I'm looking at here in the cards? Then check yourselves. Check yourselves. Make sure there is nothing, even yourself, including yourself, holding you back, right? Here we have the seven of swords. Is anybody holding on to any secrets or anything like that? Anybody around you, you feeling some kind of way about? They're kind of tricky, sneaky, whatever. You don't trust them, Right? Right? Is there anybody that you don't trust fully? Like something is a little off about them. Then it's time to pull out what? The blowtorch. So oh, in this case, you want to pull out the sword. You want to go ahead and sever ties because you don't need anything standing in your way. Yeah, you don't need anything standing in your way, including someone that you love deeply. Right? So you're always on somebody's mind. Always. And so their energy has been... Their energy has been blocking it in a sense. It's not like they're sending out any bad energy to you, but the fact that you're thinking about them because they're thinking about you is what's blocking this door right here. You're wondering if you're making the right decision. You're absolutely making the right decision to choose you first. Yes, to put yourselves first. This could be agape love or eros love, whatever, right? You could have been in a romantic relationship or it could have been a platonic one. But some of you all are starting to doubt yourselves. And I'm telling you, come on, Leos, pull through, finish strong. Y'all can do this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Because I see you celebrating. I see you celebrating on the other side. So I do see you accomplishing this. So listen, get your burning bowls out. 
If you need to write down pride and arrogance and self-centeredness or whatever you need to put in this bowl, somebody's name, the emotions that's attached to you, when you think about that person, put it in this bowl because I really want to see you all become very, very wealthy, right? That's what I want to see you. And I do see somebody traveling as well. So I do see you celebrating. So kudos to you. Kudos to you. Somebody could have gotten a raise at work. It could have been anything, but I'm seeing big money coming your way. So don't let these people trip you up and cause you to repeat a cycle. I don't care who it is. It doesn't matter who it is. This is something that somebody prayed for. Somebody asked for more money and somebody asked to have opportunities to travel and to be celebrating outside of a job or be celebrating outside of a you know, courthouse or celebrating outside of somewhere, the house you sold, purchased, refinanced or whatever, but you're celebrating outside of some type of a structure. Yes. So congratulations to you. Here we have the King of Cups. Again, this is wonderful because this is letting me know that somebody is taking the time to replenish their water, right? Somebody may have had some kind of an encounter with an incubus or a succubus, which is a male and female sex demon. I haven't even taught on that yet. And that's why somebody could have, this is why you need to replenish your own water because that's where it starts. It starts with the water, the fluids. That's what, this is what, see in the past, somebody allowed sex. I'm telling you, somebody allowed sex to hold them back. They did. They didn't even realize they were sleeping with the sex demon. And remember, when we talk about that type of energy, that type of energy is very, very, very crafty. That's why as loyal of a sign as you all are, I need you all to really, really stay focused. I'm serious. If you really want to cross over into the next realm successfully, and I see that you're going to, that you're doing that. Mm -mm. I, I can really get into the whole sex demon, sleeping with a sex demon. Um, but I'll save that for another time. But somebody may have been in a relationship with a, with that type of energy that's literally draining you dry. Their energy is just draining you dry where you feel dehydrated. You feel thirsty. That's what I'm saying. You need to get somewhere by yourself near a body of water. Cups energy is water energy. By yourself near a body of water and just release it. Whether you're releasing tears, frustration, something, you need to release it. Release it. But that energy is very, very, they, they are, they operate in fear. So they mask the fear in different ways, different types of ways. They operate in doubt. And so that's why some of you all are doubting, um, doubting this vault door opening because you've been contaminated by a demon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And didn't even know it. Five of pentacles. I'm seeing this twice. Come on, y'all. Push through. I got Come on, Leos. I'm trying to help somebody. Seriously. Come on. get. Come on. You, you know who this person is. You know exactly who they are. You know exactly who they are. Write their name down and send it up into the universe. Using fire. A flame. Get it out of your system so that you can move forward. All right, let's go. Let's see what else these Oracle cards have to say. So like I said, we are one day away from the uh, solar eclipse and also the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity lies ahead. So you all should be expecting powerful changes to happen. In May, May 8th is the first quarter moon in Leo. I'll talk a little bit about that. So get ready for that. Get ready for that. But yes, right now we need to stay focused. I need to get you all over this hump. Like seriously, I need you to get focused. Like seriously, get focused. Prosperity lies ahead. Isn't that what I just said? That's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. I need you all to get focused. Like seriously. New moon in Taurus. I do see somebody opening up that vault. More money coming your way. More happiness. More everything that you want lies behind that vault. You just need to get away from this sex demon. And that's what, that's, that's, you know, when I look at your cards, I'm like, that's who it is. It's somebody that somebody had this passionate relationship with, or, um, even if you did not engage in sex, some of you all may have engaged in sex with a demon, but it's something about their energy that is very, very demonic. And for some of you all, if you really take a, t take some time and notice 
you pour out so much emotion thinking about this person, like anger and frustration and fear and crying that you're, you don't, you don't even realize you're dehydrated, right? Don't feed that. Don't feed that. Don't feed that demon at all. All right. Let's see what we have here. The tower card. Yes. You all ever see the movie, The Devil's Advocate? And if you did, like with, uh, what's his name? Al Pacino and um, Keanu Reeves. You ever see the movie? If you didn't, I want you all to pay close attention to the end of the movie. So the devil had a plan, right? Because he was, that was his, his energy was the devil energy, Satan energy, right? And so at the end of the movie, Satan wanted his two children to mate, to carry on that legacy, right? This is what's going to happen to this demon that somebody, it, everything is going to come tumbling down. That's why I want you all to really, really, really pull through and finish this thing strong. Somebody didn't even realize, I'm telling you just how subtle, you know, if, if you remember the movie and remember the character, um, Keanu Reeves character, what was his sin? His sin was vanity, right? He loved to win cases. He didn't, he, no matter what, he sacrificed everything. His relationship with his wife, he sacri literally sacrificed everything just to win. And so somebody knows what your weakness is. The enemy knows what your weakness is. Um, and I need somebody to fight, like seriously fight for your life for real. And the way that you're going to fight for your life is to send that thing up into flames. Be still. You're, you're divinely protected from this energy, but so that battlefield for you, Leo is starting in your mind. Somebody is like, they're, they're in a struggle with their higher selves and their lower selves. Like really, um, this is where you want to be still. You're going to see it all just like in that movie when that, um, what, well, I'm not going to tell you if you didn't see the movie, but you all know how Keanu Reeves character defeated the devil in the end. So, yep. So this is really him, really him killing his flesh. So I don't want to say it because I don't want it to trigger anybody, but it's really him dying to his flesh and ascending to his highest frequency. This is what I'm telling you. And this is how you all are going to do it. I'm trying to give somebody the keys to this. Look, you're going to write that person's name down and you're going to burn it. You're going to say a nice prayer. You're going to release it into the universe. I wish them the best, but I will have nothing to do with that energy. I need to move on with my life. I need to move on with my life because behind that vault is everything that you want. Your new person, travel, money, whatever it is that you want. Get that energy out of your spirit. If you notice, for some of you all, Every time, for some of you all who may have had an uh, intimate relationship, whether it was a sexual or intimate, because it's not the same, it's not to be used interchangeably, they, all, they were always thirsty, like they always needed some water, like they always either were trying to give you, because they were trying to feed that energy, because that's where it starts. And if your sacral chakra was out of alignment, like meaning something happened to you between like the ages of eight and 14, and through that out of alignment and you were thirsty around that energy and they were giving you water or you were drinking a lot of water around them. I'm telling you, that's exactly where it started. And that's how they were able to get you. All right. On every step of my journey, I proceed without preconceptions. That's right. Then we have the mystery of life is your mystery to solve. There you go. There you go. Prosperity lies ahead. I'm telling you, you all are so divinely protected. It's not even funny. So that battlefield that you're having in your mind of your higher self struggling with your lower self, dealing with a demon, I'm already telling you, you already won. You already won. Somebody's going to be celebrating. Somebody's going to be celebrating. And you may not even have had the encounter with that particular demon. However, it could be somebody that's connected to you that also put that fear and that doubt and that nervousness in your spirit. That's why you got to protect, you got to protect your energy. The only way that you're going to be able to see who is who is to separate yourself from that, right? Separate it by ascending higher. And sometimes that requires for you to get by yourself, to isolate yourself, get as far away from those energies as possible. Yes. 
near a body of water. Get away from them. All right, that is what I have for you. All right, finish strong, Leo. So I want to see you all. I want to hear those testimonies. Some of you all have already been sending me your testimonies about things, great things happening. So congratulations to each and every one of you. But congratulations to everybody who watches this video because I already know you're going to finish strong. I, there's no question about it. I'm that certain. I know you're going to finish strong. That's what I have for you, Leos. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.